There are three key experts you have to masterize to have perfect photos. Do you know them? The light, the subject, and composition. In this video, we are gonna focus on composition and see eight tips to solve all the composition problems I found during more than eight years in landscape photography. Now, pay attention. Yes, you, because we start. Hello everyone! In today's video we are visiting Odenwald, which means the forest of the god Odin, the greatest god of the northern mythology. Odenwald is well known by the sea of the rocks, the castles and the misty mornings that they are great for landscape photography. So if you want to improve your composition skills in this amazing place with real examples, follow me! Well, I was hoping to have a bit of fog this morning because the conditions for that are amazing, but it didn't happen. Anyway, the light looks very promising, so let's go to our final destination. Alright, I have to confess that I already took the picture because I made the worst mistake you can make as a landscape photographer, being late. Luckily, I know the place because it's not my first time here, so I didn't need too much time to find a nice composition. However, when it's time to capture the perfect landscape shot, time is everything. You have to be prepared when the perfect time arrives. So I would recommend to arrive to the photo location 30 minutes earlier than the sunrise or the sunset. Otherwise, you will start running like a chicken without head, trying to find a nice composition while you are missing the best light. Trust me, I've been a lot of times late and it's not nice to miss the best light. Well, what can I say? Sometimes the gravity on the bed is bigger than my energy. <laughs> Sorry, but I have to wear my sunglasses because the sun is killing me. So, as we said, if you are early in your photo location, you will have enough time to find the best composition. So relax, stay calm and look around, you have enough time. Grab your camera and start looking for compositions you may like. And once you find one, work on it. See how it changes if you change the perspective or the angle and when you have it, bring your tripod. On the other hand, sometimes less is more. When you are composing your landscape photo, remember to keep it simple. Avoid all the distractions in your frame, focus on your main subject and let it shine. Think about what distracts your photo and try to remove them. My experience tells me that sometimes it's harder to find what detracts beauty on our photos than what we like. But with a bit of experience, you will do it better. And the best way to keep simple a photo is to use a long lens. The right choice of a lens is crucial in landscape photography. A long lens helps you to isolate a distant subject and create stunning layered compositions. Usually, make a nice composition with a wide angle lens is harder than with a long one, especially if you're a beginner photographer. When you're using a wide angle lens, everything is in the frame, including the foreground where you are. So there are more elements in your frame that you have to work with to find harmony in your composition. So if you're a winner photographer, throw away your wide angle lens and let the long one become your best friend. Changing the subject, the best technique to find a nice composition is to use the rule of the thirds. Let me explain the rule with the photo that we have here. Imagine that you divide your photo in a 3x3 grid. And now, the only thing that you have to do is put your main subject in one of the intersections. Nowadays, even in the smartphones, you have to choice to put this grid when you're taking pictures. This simple technique can improve your photos to the next level. And these are the tips that I used to take the photo before. But don't go away, because still you need another 3 tips to solve all your composition problems. So if you want to meet my favorite tree and know these tips, follow me. Alright, here it is, my favorite tree. The next tip to solve more composition problems is the use of leading lines. Leading lines are a very powerful tool in landscape photography. They connect different parts of the frame in a very peaceful way. Look for natural or man-made elements such as river, path or fences and use them strategically to create impact in your composition. In our next photo we are going to use a small path. Fortunately, it's not the best season of the year and you cannot see it very well. Anyway, I'm going to post you the winter version of this photo to see it properly. To organize all the elements in our composition, we have to use a balance. Balance is the key for harmonious landscape photo. For example, if you put all the important elements in one part of the frame, the photo is not well balanced. So if you have a dominant subject in one side of the frame, balance it out with something with the same visual wave on the other side. 
For example, in this photo, using the rule of the thirds, in one side we put the tree, and in the opposite side we put the corner of the path. And last, but not the least, is to add layers to your composition. Adding layers to our composition is one of the best ways to create a sense of depth in our landscape photos, making them more interesting. For example, in the picture we took earlier, we used the hills to create layers in our photo. And in this one, we are going to use the green foreground, the tree, and the hill. Also, there are more ways to create layers in our photos. For example, you can use different colors for each layer, or different quantity of light. And that's it! We focus on the tree, f11 because it's the sharpest point of this lens, and the shutter speed, as always, we don't care because there is no movement at all. Now is your moment. Go out and shoot. It's the best way to improve your photography. And that's it for today, but in case you need some ideas to shoot, here there are some. And if you want to improve your photography, don't forget to subscribe. Agur et orrecolarte! 